Making content comprehensible for English language learners can be a difficult task. Often, this is because new content has language that students don't understand or can't follow. One way the content is not comprehensible is through a linguist term and effective filter. This mechanism prevents students from understanding new content because they see new content as intimidating or unfamiliar in some way. Let's take a look at how an effective filter might affect a student's learning. You're pretty. Go out with me. No. As one can see, Colby was unable to secure a date from young Allison because of the manner in which he approached her. Her effective filter was raised, and thus, the targeted behavior was not secured. But if Colby were to attempt to understand Allison's interests and build or scaffold upon that, he might be able to secure the targeted behavior. Let's take a look at how that might work. Hi, what's your name? Allison. Allison, I'm Colby. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. So, uh, what kind of food do you like? Mm, I like sushi. Sushi? Yeah. Yeah, I love sushi. I know this really good uh, sushi place that opened up over on uh, 6th Street. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. You should go sometime. I should. Well, what are you doing Saturday? Uh, nothing. You should come with me on Saturday. Okay. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you then. Alright. As one can see, Colby was able to secure a date from young Allison by building upon her interests, asking questions of her, and scaffolding. So for all you English language teachers, or all you future language teachers, understanding how to reduce the effective filter may play an integral part into improving education for American children.